starter upgrade on the uh, Dodge with the 10-speed in it here had a MT28 on it which is about 2.9 kilovolts of power I was really wanting to get an MT31 but even going to the local Delco O'Remy shop they apparently couldn't find it anywhere based on the part number from Delco Remy so I ended up getting a MT29 from O'Reilly's to Wilson. That's the part number. As you can see there, it's 3.3 kilowatts, so it's got a bit more power than the MT28. The MT21 or MT31 would have had about 4.1 kilowatts, so it had even more power. Um, the reason I'm trying to get a more powerful starter is in stock trim with the automatic or the manual the Dodge starter cranked it over so fast that even at 20 below with no block heater it could sit for weeks and I could go out there and start it up wasn't a huge fan of it but it would work it'd start pretty quick it just you know do the chugging for a bit have to keep a little pedal to keep her going which is great for going out to remote parts of Alaska here and not having to worry about a generator or if the generator would start because it's too cold and all that fun type of stuff but with this starter in it it just doesn't crank over fast enough it won't start when it gets that cold I mean it starts getting below zero and I gotta plug it in so yeah I'm gonna put this one in hopefully it'll crank it faster with the extra power it's actually a little bit shorter so it'll be easier to get in because it kind of had to work this past the motor mount it was kind of a pain, mostly because you can see this. that one's got an actual enclosed snout, and this has got the open snout, so that'll be the biggest difference for getting it in, because it's trying to work that up into the bell housing. And having that hit the motor mount, that was really the pain, so this ought to go in a lot easier. Not really going to do any video of that, because it's a tight area, and as you can tell by that, super oily down there, because the, uh, the crank case breather comes out right next to the starter. <laughs> all right, got it all up in there. It's much easier to get in and out than that other one. I just gotta reconnect the batteries and see how she works.